Okay, I'm going to show you how my new windsurf machine works. Um, it's an induction machine, which means that it amplifies electrical differences. Um, so in this case, we've got tin foil here and turning them um, against the copper brushes in this X pattern um, amplifies the electrical differences in the tin foil. So technically, it wouldn't work if there was no charge to begin with, but it does work because there's always going to be a slight difference in charge somewhere on the machine, and it just amplifies that until it gets big enough to cause a spark to go um, from the two electrodes. And you can attach these things, which are Leyden jars, and they just um, store more charge so that it's a higher voltage spark that goes across. So you can see that you can't really see the spark with the Leyden jars not connected, but then if I connect the Leyden jars, then you can see the spark. What was that noise? That was, I've never heard that noise before, that's funny. Okay, so, there's a few cool things you can do with this. First one, I'll take the Leyden jars off for. So, um, one way that you can visualize the um, energy going across is you get a piece of insulated alcohol, so it's insulated by the duct tape um, on my fingers, and then if you just turn the wheel slowly, then um, the alpha will collect the charge from one electrode and then take it back and forth to the other one and then it gets the opposite charge so it's attracted back to the first electrode so it goes back and forth. Alright, that's basically that. But the coolest thing is that you can use the electric field that's generated between these two electrodes to excite the mercury vapour in a fluorescent lamp. So, <clears throat> I'll show you it first. Um, just with the lights on, so you might be able to see it lights up a little bit. And um, you can also do it with the Leyden jars connected. It'll make it light up more, but in short bursts, like that. And um, you can also make the... Ow! <laughs> I just got sucked. <laughs> you can also make the electricity actually go through the bottom of it, which will light it up, just in small bursts. And um, so, I'll turn the light off now and disconnect the Leyden jars so I get a more steady flow of electricity. And you can see how it lights it up. It's pretty cool. So, you can do this with the big, huge fluorescent lamps as well. It looks more impressive, but um, this is all I've got. And another interesting thing is, if I keep spinning it, and then bring my hands up, then it will stop the light from shining because the electricity will be going around instead of through. So, so you can see it went through my fingers instead of through the light, which is pretty cool. And you should be able to see the sparks go from my fingers. It doesn't hurt when you do it on the um, um, without the Leyden jars connected, but if you do it with the Leyden jars connected, it'd be higher voltage, so it would. Alright, that's it.